Yeah, man, you know they got the back and forth. Carl Weathers and Arnold Schwarzenegger, who are actually very good together have, in this, yeah, man. Yeah, for sure. I wish yeah. they did more movies together. Did, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, right off the bat, they established that they've known each other a long time, and, yeah. and you completely yeah. buy it. Yeah. Well, they it's a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of chemistry going on there because they look like lovers in a way. Dylan! A shot dedicated to two yeah, big lubed up greasy arms. <laughs> <laughs> look like look like two veiny penises right there. <laughs> Ebony and Ivory. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Just all <laughs> up and greased it. up. Right there. I was looking at that today. I was like, mm-hmm. no, they didn't. <laughs> just just linger there. <laughs> I would, I, I, many, not just me, many would argue, you're one of them, I am. that somehow, some kind of way, that predator, I ain't talking about the predator, I ain't talking about predators, plural, or anything like that, I'm talking about just plain old simple predator, 1987, they would say that in 1987 with this movie right here, it broke true ground. Yeah, sure. It was... It, not not setting a trend, but it broke ground. Cinematic, cinematic ground. They say that this this movie is not just a fanboy film. It's not just an action person's film. It's not just something that sci-fi people love. They said that this movie actually broke sci-fi ground. Let's get Billy so spooked. There's something out there waiting for us. And it ain't no man. It is not no man. It is one of the most, at this point, classic movie creatures that you have out there. Most yeah. iconic. Yeah, yeah, definitely one of the most iconic. Certainly from the 80s. Yeah, people. Thing is, this movie right here, this movie was a surprise hit when it came out. I mean, you know, it had Arnold Schwarzenegger and everything in, but, and, and everything in it, but people just kind of like, wow, it did way better than we thought it would. Yeah. But the others that followed after that, uh, no matter how hard they try, just can't capture the same magic of the original 1987 Predator right there. And since we have a new Predator movie coming out, which is kind of getting some uh, good word of mouth right now, very positive at this point. But we'll see. We'll see. You know, you can never trust early. No. You can never trust early reviews. You can never trust yeah. early word of mouth. First reactions. And First reactions. Media posts, you know. Just, what I thought we would do is we'd do a retro review of Predator, the 1987 classic, and kind of discuss right here why this movie works so well and why the other films have not been able to live up to what this movie did. Now, I'm not saying that the other movies are bad. I mean, I'm not shitting on anybody's opinion of the other movies. You know, if you like those films, that's fine. There's numerous ones. You know, there's... Ones where the alien predator is coming back to Earth and hunting more people, and he's hunting a- he's hunting the alien. Yeah. yeah. Now, first of all, Martin is not a big fan of this movie right here. I'm not saying I'm not saying that as a bad thing, but I'm you know you're one of the you're one of the people that just said, Nah, I don't get it. No, yeah, I saw it in the theater in 1987, and I came out just like, <clears throat> yeah, just just wasn't feeling it. I tell you right now, maybe I'm a little, you know, my my discussion might be a little biased, but I love Predator, man. I used to watch all the time. I haven't, I haven't seen it in years now. But I do really like this movie a lot, man. And watching it today, I got to examine this in a different way. You know, before it was just kind of like, oh, shit, I'm a big Arnold Schwarzenegger fan. Mm-hmm. I love the Predator design. I love the creature. Mm-hmm. You know, I love action movies. I love science fiction. I love monsters and all that kind of stuff. So it had everything going for me, you know. But I, today I really questioned, why is this so successful? And to you know, going and asking that question and really digging deep with this and looking at it through my my the eyes that I have right now of critiquing movies because the last time I saw this, I'm just watching it as you know a fan. I, sure, even, sure. I ain't trying to I ain't trying to work while I'm watching my <laughs> right, movie. Right, I like right, right. watching it with critical eyes now. I can see why Predator 1987 remains the best. When you, if you know this movie, it's really two movies in one. It's a bunch of movies. Yeah, it's a bunch of movies, but it really is like two genres yes. right. mixed together. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And because of that, when you, especially if you take that first half, mm-hmm. the reason why this works so well is because 
this is a movie that does not take itself seriously until until it absolutely has to. <laughs> and that's that's a while right. before it does. Yeah. It's an almost typical silly 80s action film until an alien shows up and says enough of this silly shit. <laughs> you know, I'm tired of this. It's almost like an alien crossed over to somebody else's movie. <laughs> And just started and just started messing and trolling people. It, it's funny because he is an, an alien, an extraterrestrial, but really he's a slasher. I wish they hadn't shown that. So I, you know they could have caught everybody off guard sure. and by surprise, kind of like what they did with what they did with uh, from Dust Till Dawn. Yeah, the Ultras of the Vampires. But, yeah, but don't you think without that, then when all this happens later with an extraterrestrial, people are going, where the hell did that come from? No, I don't, and I'll you know, the, and I'll tell you why in a little bit. But I'll just give you a little little snippet right here because it's just not a sudden turn, mm -hmm. which is one of the great things I think about this movie. It's just mm -hmm. not like an alien just walked in like, hey everybody, <laughs> you didn't expect this, did you? <laughs> Y'all seen Arnold around here? <laughs> you know, no, it's, it's not like he just pops in. Mm -hmm. One of the things that the movie does well is that they just kind of gradually keep showing things from this perspective of who the hell is that? Yeah. yeah. And they hint at him and what he's been doing and the skin bodies and right. yeah. places and but yeah, and his perspective. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh plus that that opening is straight up like the thing. Yeah. yeah oh, I, mean, I know. Oh, the, so much the, of it. <laughs> so much of this movie is like that. Yeah. yeah. Thing is, the, the the first half of this movie is such a typical silly 80s action film that it's almost generic. They are just embracing every action cliche that they have yeah. in there. I mean, it's, you know, it's because for some people who are really critical, it seems like, damn, the writing in this is terrible. But it's really done on purpose, man. It's like, it's almost doing a parody in a way. I'm not trying to hide that these guys are just a bunch of, you know, big dumbasses, man. You know, that's all they know how to do is shoot a gun, probably. Uh, you know, before, because for one thing, before you even know their names, they give them like silly, distinctive personality traits. Like uh, Jesse Ventura as Blaine, you know he—he's the most macho of all of them. You know he talks shit while chewing tobacco. I mean, he does that early on through the whole. That just—that's his defining. It's character. like he's ready. I don't even think he's—I don't even think he's spitting it out. I think he's eating it. He's eating it, yeah. <laughs> he loves the flavor. I think, yeah, he loves the flavor. Like he's eating tobacco. He—he might spit out a couple of times, but most of the time he's swallowing that shit. Cause that's a wad almost bigger than his mouth. Yes. <laughs> Funny thing, that's the only time he spit. The only time he spit was to spit on somebody's foot. <laughs> the rest of the time, he just sent him just eating it like a cow. <laughs> Bill Duke, he likes to shave. Dry shave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he just said, there's a couple times in the movie where he's just sitting back, just cooling out, chilling with a shave, man. Uh, Billy. Billy's, uh, Billy's Native American. The actor is actually a lot of things, but I imagine the movie they played up that he's Native American. So hey, he's very serious, and he can sense things that nobody else can sense. It's, it's <laughs> interesting how how everything about him codes Native sense. American, but they don't call him that. No, well, I, I think that's kind of cool. No, I, I they don't cool play it too. up. But yeah, you know, he's the one that says there's something not right here in the woods. <laughs> you know, <laughs> sense the shit that nobody else sees. It's not human. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he's, he's the tracker. Yeah, yeah exactly. Tracker. Yeah. He, he's got everything except. Fringe or feather. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Run through the jungle. Through the jungle. <laughs> this actor, his, his character's name is Billy. He's been Billy in about three other movies. Is that right? He was yeah. Billy and uh, he was Sheriff Billy in a show called uh, Hardcastle McCormick. Oh, yeah. That's him on the right in in uh, 48 Hours. Uh, and he was also in a movie called Billy Lone Bear. Oh, so, <laughs> <laughs> so back in the day, if you needed a Billy, you got this man right here. He's your man. Like I said, man, you know, if you're very critical, then yeah, there's, it's going to seem like, a, yeah, characters that are poorly written. But I think that this was done on purpose because they, again, kind of parodying the action genre. Uh, I like how, I like how they, they show how they have different personalities even right at the beginning. Uh, like this is right after the opening credits. Like when they get off the plane, they're all wearing different civilian clothes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they all to let you know that they all have different styles and personalities, even when they're not out in the jungle together. Damn, Bill Duke just got off a job interview. Or some <laughs> shit right he's, he's a CEO, yeah, of the yeah. company. but on the side, yeah. he does have military yeah. rescues. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
And of course, Arnold's too cool to get off with the rest of the riffraff. You gotta lay back. I like the way the helicopter's kind of like, man, you gonna get off the fucking helicopter or what? I got somewhere to go. <laughs> but the one thing that they all have in common is that they're all very tough and they're all very macho. Uh, and again, I think they're making them overly macho on purpose for the sake of the, you know, just kind of just poking fun at the action genre right now. But here. also, it you know, when they start getting picked off one by one by the Predator, goes like, oh shit, we thought these guys were the toughest thing. Yeah, this yeah. No, that is true. decimating yeah. them. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Now, this is back in the day. One thing I will say, you know, it's a great movie, but things have aged, and not, oh, yeah. not too well. It's dated. It's very it dated. You know, this yeah. is back in the day when uh, dudes did very manly things that are kind of outdated today and probably somewhat offensive. Uh, you know, like Chewing tobacco, that's looked down upon today, anyway, you know, from a health perspective, but they chewed tobacco back in the day to let you know, I ain't gay, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and, they, and, and didn't mind dropping the F word to tell you so. Bunch of slap jawed around here. This stuff will make you a goddamn sexual tyrannosaurus, just like me. Yeah, because women love the smell of cancer mouth rot. <laughs> Look like you've been chewing turds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He don't care what women he like. Yeah, he doesn't. He's not interested in women. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, he's a these dudes in here. Like, as long as they accept my money, that's all I care about. <laughs> Real man's not afraid to take it up the ass, right? <laughs> <laughs> Call a bro blow. It's better when your bro does it. That's some whore. Yeah. <laughs> it was my idea, so it's not gay. <laughs> Now, here's the funny thing about this. I'm going to just go get this out the way because people are going to think, look, I love Predator, all right? So don't sit up here and think I'm trying to make fun of this or break it down. I'll look at it through some, you know, woke eyes or something today. I'm not doing that. But this is, it, it never fails, y'all. And y'all know what happens. When something, when things get a little bit too macho, you know, when, when, especially when they are trying to prove how not gay they are. <laughs> it's funny how it, the more gay it gets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> funny how it just comes uh -huh, around. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, just you try to lean this way, yeah, and sometimes yeah, just keep going this, this way. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the, more, the more you try to prove you're not gay, the more gay you're not being. <laughs> it's, it's funny. It's like, uh, <laughs> like this, this starts immediately when you have Arnold Schwarzenegger as Dutch. When he goes to meet uh, uh, Carl Weathers. Dylan. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> Some dumb son of a bitch said you were the best. Yeah, man, you know they got that back and forth. Carl Weathers and Arnold Schwarzenegger, who are actually very good together they in this, yeah, man. Yeah, sure. I wish they did more movies again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, right off the bat, they established that they've known each other a long time. And, and you completely yeah. buy it. Yeah. Well, they, it's a lot, of, a, lot of, uh, a lot of chemistry going on there because they look like lovers in a way. <laughs> Dylan! You son of a bitch. Hot. A shot dedicated to two yeah, big, lubed up, greasy arms. <laughs> <laughs> look like look like two veiny penises right there. <laughs> Ebony and Ivory. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Just all <laughs> up and greased it. up. Right there. I was looking at that today. I was like, mm. no, they didn't. <laughs> just just wing it there. Just let it stay. It yeah. had, had to turn it into a thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's a meme now. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Like people, when they slap, like it, it didn't freeze frame. If you notice, it's just, it's just there for a moment. Wait for it. <laughs> Wait for it. Like, like, it's fun looking at this because uh, it's like introducing two new characters. <laughs> the dialogue is terrible. I get that. It's tough guy. It's it, it's tough guy nonsense. Tough guy speak. Yeah, it's tough guy speak. But like, it makes it it makes no sense. Ain't no way for no soldier to die. Being skinned alive is no way for anyone to die. <laughs> but especially a soldier. <laughs> okay, it's okay. But God, I don't think you get, I don't think there's any one person you ask out there like, what do you think about being skinned alive? Oh shit, that sounds fun. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's okay for you, but for a soldier. Yeah, for those no. civvies, I mean, sure, yeah. they're used to that. <laughs> yeah. I don't think there's any way for anybody to die, you damn <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Your man, Jess Ventura over here. Stupid things. You're hit. You're bleeding, man. I ain't got time to bleed. Well, apparently you do because <laughs> you're bleeding. 
I love that line. Yeah, no, I, I do. No, I it's, do too. This movie is all one line. Oh, it, it it tracks mm-hmm. for for his character yep. for for what what they're pulling bringing yeah. across with these guys. But I, again, I think that they're writing these lunkheads like this on purpose, man. You know, they oh, just, yeah. they're giving them you know, it's extreme over the top tough guy dialogue, and especially with a writer like Shane Black. He, but I don't think he wrote this. What happened was uh, they had like seven drafts of this thing. Mm-hmm. He, they actually brought him uh, as on as an actor so he could actually do script rewrites. While yeah, while well, he's the, on the set. While they're making the movie. Mm-hmm. They use some of his stuff, but not all of the stuff. Okay. Yeah. But some of the, the pussy jokes and stuff, that's him. No, that's okay. Because <laughs> okay. yeah, I, I, I always thought, I knew he was in it. I thought he was one of the writers, but it lists two other they, people. They, this movie's production was crazy because they were basically rewriting it while they were filming Cause, it. Because yeah. I read that he was writing, in the middle of writing Lethal Weapon while he was on this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, a lot of this stuff, I mean, it's, it's, it's a goof, man. All this stuff is meant to laugh. And I think that, again, that's the brilliant thing about this, man, because it really does separate the film before it goes into its next half. It really does, you know, makes it, make it seem like it's a different movie. Uh, now, you're talking about dialogue. Of course, when you got Arnold in here, man, you can call it stupid. You can call it his thing. But you always got to have those... Patented, copyrighted, Martin. What was wrong, man? You the man of puns. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You gonna hate another man of no, puns? He's one of the founding your, fathers of puns, Martin. Your Come brother, on. Your brother in pun. You <laughs> gonna hate this man? Not like this. Yes. <laughs> Not like this. Martin, exactly like this. Listen to your brother over here. Yeah. Stick around. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It stopped the movie. So I can yes. get one of these in. I and like, these are two contractual obligations. And I love it. I love it. What's so funny about that one in particular is like the knife is actually like that big, and yet the guy's supposed to be like against the wall. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. No. Well, yeah. whenever it's one of those and the camera does this, <laughs> yeah. it's like it's already sticking in him before yeah. he gets oh, I know. there. He's not stuck <laughs> in that wall at all. Overacting, just standing. <laughs> It hurts. It hurts. <laughs> and the, you get man. It's even the, the sound in here. Yeah. It sound like a <laughs> bar- <laughs> yeah. It sound like a cartoon sound effect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm, shit. I think. I think Wiley Coyote got an arrow in his ass. It sounded like that. What's so funny about it? Again, man. It's. It does stop the movie. It makes it hilarious <laughs> because there, there are moments where Arnold Schwarzenegger makes puns, but man, those puns are so sweet. Good. They're so good that they could have shot his ass, but they were like too busy listening, man. Knock, knock. The, oh, the, oh, man. He shot those dudes. Did he I close did. it before that? Yeah. They. Oh, let me see if I can find that because you got to see how much time they actually gave his ass. Oh, they sure did. Knock, knock. Could have, yeah. He could have blasted his ass two minutes ago. He was holding a gun like this the whole oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. oh yeah. <laughs> but they're so hilarious. Yeah, they're, I know they're so good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Lyrical stylings of one yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> you, 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 you know what happened. Knock, knock. The dude was like, who's the. <laughs> Boy, I want to hear the punchline. <laughs> and again, here's why I'm convinced that this is all. Intentional. Everything that seems like it's over the top, even badly written. This is why I'm so. This is why I'm so uh, uh, confident that this was done on purpose, because when they actually get the whole thing with the movie is that it's meant to kind of derail you from thinking about an alien entering the movie, even when you know the alien is there at the beginning, sure. um, because they go on this mission to save these uh, these 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 these, these, these uh, uh, hostages from these jungle gorillas in Guatemala. Yeah. Yeah, and but that's that's the story that's used. It's actually they were just there just to wipe them all out. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Dylan is manipulating Schwarzenegger. Exactly. But they uh, they go there, and so for their mission, every the answer, the answer to everything. Explosions. <laughs> yeah. Everything that's going on there. Hey, they work. They, they. It's almost like they. they they know what people want in just a straight out action movie. So everything in explosions. They spend about a minute being stealthy. And I mean, and they're doing shit that works, man. Yeah. Like, the, like the stealthiness is actually effective. Oh. Mainly because the enemy's stupid. Like, man, yes. you fell for that. <laughs> I know. Like, you weren't even ready with your gun or your knife or anything. <laughs> what kind of bird is. Oh, shit! 
Well, you know, uh, foot soldiers and henchmen. Yeah, true, <laughs> true. He actually leaned up, yes. <laughs> 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 yeah, wouldn't you just be used to birds being around there and not even pay attention to them anymore? But that bird, he's never but heard that before. Bird. That was at the particular <laughs> whistle. So. That bird was calling his name. <laughs> I know my birds, but oh, God! Yeah, he look over like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> that fool fell for that shit. Funny if he said that. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, Lord. Like, he, like, like the bird was put out a mating call and he answered. <laughs> Oh, hey, hey yes. Man. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because they're all trying to be stealthy. You know, they're all going by some kind of protocol until until Schwarzenegger. He's like, you know what? This. Right. He's like, hey, these hostages are dead, so. Yeah, you know. it is it's a good way to just take out a bunch of them. What the f? <laughs> He's like, wow. He did not. He said he did not follow the plan at all. <laughs> it was his plan. Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, <it's still. laughs> yeah, man. It's like everyone in the camp is like just eating and sleeping on explosives. Like if you if you shoot, you're gonna hit something that explodes. That's just a given. And un unlimited. Yes. Yep. Unlimited. All you can eat grenade launchers. <laughs> oh, no, not that one. Here you, oh, there, look at that. Yeah. I never once saw them reload a grenade launcher. Okay. They, just a grenade launcher buffet going on. Ah! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Over the top. It's putting it lightly, man. That's an understatement right there. Uh, but I tell you, while... I think that it's uh, it's it's brilliantly over the top. I also think that it brilliantly plays it straight, cause that's you know like the story, or, or the, uh, I'm sorry, not the story, but the the characters, the action, the dialogue. Mm -hmm. It's it's man, it's out there. It's crazy, but all the actors are playing it straight. Well, they're very Absolutely. earnest about it. Yeah, yeah. They, no, they are. They're playing it straight and. And committing to, if the, here's a funny thing, they're playing it straight and they're committing to a plot that just gets dropped yep. in, the middle, in the middle of the movie. And a gift from the chopper, but if they're Central American, I'm a goddamn Chinaman. Something pretty big was gonna happen here. Boy, all this, uh, all this detail, you know, coming in there, putting all this exposition in yeah. for, for nothing, man. I ain't saying it's for nothing, you know, but it's out there, again, kind of a big, long MacGuffin, man. I mean, right down to even having having twist and deceptions going on. I think this is what you're looking for. You sell <laughs> Wow, you fell for that, man? <laughs> you was like, oh, thank you. Oh! <laughs> you weren't supposed to find that out until we got back yeah. home. Got us in here to do your dirty work. Look, we just stopped a major invasion, and three days later, been across the border with this stuff. Why us? because nobody else could have pulled it off. He was skinned alive, and my orders were to get somebody and who could crack these. Boy, they are acting their ass off. Again, putting all this detail and exposition in it. Like, if you walked in at this moment in this movie, you never saw a trailer or anything, you would think that, okay, this is the job. This yeah, is where we're going. Yeah, yeah. This be the conflict. I personally appreciate that. Yeah, the, yeah. Because that, that, it would have been super easy to not put the details in and just like, ah, we don't care about this. We just get to the other thing. But yeah. this, is, this is a good distraction to, 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 to you know, go through this and see it's filled out. What happened to you, Dylan? You used to be somebody I could trust. They built up this conflict between these two. I mean, we they, really think these they two were old about, friends. Yeah. Well, that's my. Uh, that's the thing I was going to bring up. Like they, they established that conflict, and like that relationship is over, and everyone still continues to treat Dylan like shit, even though they're kind of treating him like shit anyway. They didn't <laughs> like, 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 his shoes before like, they, they, they knew like, something <laughs> before it was just amazing. Yeah. Now it's like we actually hate you. Yeah. <laughs> but eventually, it's like especially me. It, it comes to that point where they got to put that all the side because we have a, a more worse yes. threat to deal with. A common and, enemy. And yeah. one thing yeah. that it does set up is like it's a it's. I like the way that they did this. They set up the whole thing of we're stranded out here without laying that on too thick. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, like you know, because a lot of a lot of movies are like, oh my god, what are we gonna do? We can't get out of here. And it's like, nah, they just say, hey man, we gotta wait for a chopper to come get us. It's, and you and you lied to us. Yes, yeah. Like they have an objective. They know where they need to go. It's just and now it's become increasingly more difficult. Mm -hmm. I appreciate this so much that now rewatching this today, 
I have a new appreciation for this movie. Oh, oh look yeah, at you coming around. Yeah, yeah, no, before where I was just like, oh, whatever. Watching it today, I was like, you know, I'm actually kind of into it. Nice. I'm, I'm liking this yeah. so much more. I, I, it's like, okay, now I get why you guys like it. Yeah, very man. Cool, I, cool. you know, I, I'm like I said, I always loved it, man. I, and uh, even when we was, when we saw it, it was just kind of like there are moments. Well, I'm gonna get into that in a little bit. Let me get, let me not get ahead of myself. But that's see again, that's the brilliance of this movie, I think, because the action movie of the first half commits so hard to a story that you forget that there was an alien ship at the beginning yeah, sometimes. Yeah. yeah, Like you actually don't think about like, that. Oh, yeah, 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 I forgot about it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you saw it. <laughs> you're like, oh, oh yeah, there's an alien in here. I don't know where, but sure. Um, but when the Predator shows up, uh, that's when playtime is over, man. That's when it's done. Um, and the thing with the... Uh, with the Predator being here, is that this is where the movie takes a slight shift into taking itself a little more seriously. Mm -hmm. uh, where it was this goofy fun before? You know, the first half is like, let's have, just have some goofball fun. The second half of the script, it's almost, it, it's almost like it saved its most clever ideas for the, for the alien that shows up, the Predator. Uh, yeah. And that's the, you know, if anything about this movie does get more clever, it's probably thanks to the Predator. It's a it's a great setup, man. How they gradually just introduce. See, this is why I thought they didn't need the spaceship at the beginning, mm -hmm. <clears throat> because you could have had this thing going on, business as usual. We got an action movie. We got a mission. They set it all up. A lot of detail. But then you could have been asking, what the hell? Who is that? Because they gradually just start to introduce the predator, and the way they do it is great, man. Because you know they do it where you have more questions than anything. <coughs> Pancho, take lead. Double time it. You know, they, like, if that popped up right there, I don't think anybody would have a problem be like, what the f is that? What you, happened here? You would just think it's somebody with infrared goggles <laughs> yeah. watching yeah. them. You think of an enemy out there, yeah, 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 watching them. You wouldn't know that it's not human. Not one of them survived. Yeah. yeah. It's the ultimate badass of all those guys down there. Yeah, they man. Killed. And, and you know, over time, they slowly, they take, they take their time in the movie. They slowly just steadily increase the appearance of the Predator. You know, another reason why the Predator is still the best out of the series, in, in my opinion, and, uh, you know, if I had a reason to tell people why this has lasting power over all the other ones, it's the first time that we see the creature. You know, and the Predator is one of the few creatures out there, and we were talking about this earlier, it's one of the few creatures out there that just keeps getting cooler within the movie as he goes along. Yeah. Like the more they introduce, like everything is like, oh shit, he can do that. Oh damn, he can do that. Oh, that's what he look. You know, that's I, what he's got. I think that 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 revealing of mysteries, the, the whole mystery about the character, is what makes this this first one work so so well. It, it, you know, better than the others because you don't know what's coming. Yeah, no, and, that's and true. I, and I read that the predator only has eight minutes of screen time the yeah, whole time. So little. Yep. But yeah. but but there's there's so much of that. What is this, and what's it gonna do, and what's he all about? And every time they like reveal a new scene, it showcases a new ability. Mm -hmm. It's cloaking. That's see, it's, that's it. It's eyes, it's weapons. Yeah. See, and that's the thing. Water. Before you, you, you know, before you even see him, he's interesting because you see him tracking and recording. Yeah. But you don't, you know, you ask yourself why. John! Over here. <laughs> Okay, so you figured like, all right, maybe he's gonna use that against him. But then you see things where he starts recording. Uh, he starts recording laughter. And again, you're like, why would an alien want to record laughter? The other day, <laughs> I, was I was like, don't laugh. <laughs> yeah. I was going like, I was telling Predator, don't record that. Don't encourage him. <laughs> when they finally show him, they don't even show him, man. And this is one of the things that, when I saw it, like the kids that I was with, this is the thing that blew our minds, man. <laughs> he, got, he got Stallone mouth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. oh, he's upset. Man, we saw that cloaking effect right there, and all of us freaked out like, shit, I ain't never seen no shit like that before. <laughs> it freaked us out, man. Yeah, sure, sure. yeah, we didn't know what was going on with that, man. We said, damn, that's so cool. Uh, and, and I think at the time, this was new effects technology, or at least a new, uh, a, a new method of effect. I feel like it was. Because yeah. uh, at the time they talked about how they had to set it up with the, 
somebody in a red suit to yeah. walk around in yeah. the, the jungle. And by this point, everybody knows that it was Jean-Claude Van Damme that was doing it. And they had to go through a couple of designs. But every one of those designs, when the costume was in the, the jungle, which was shot in Mexico, by the way, they had to use red against green because of the opposites on the color yep. scale right yep. there. It wasn't a Jean-Claude Van Damme. No, it was, it was at, at first. first. Yeah. It was at first. Three days of yeah. shooting. <laughs> oh, yeah, because I, yeah, I read that they, they had to let him go. He got, yeah. He they got, were he, like, he was too short, and he was... Well, he was whining. He was pissy. Yeah, yeah, yeah he was whining pissy. About Which, the, by the way, the costume, in his oh. defense, it sucked anyway. Yep. So we were fitting him in this red suit and just assuming like the, the slaves that we are, that the higher ups have told him exactly what's going on. But you look he, like a crawfish out there. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, Mar, you chasing him, <laughs> jump and try to eat him. Mark would be the yeah, predator. He would be the, shit, the hunter has become the hunted. Shit, Mar would be the hero of the movie. Shit, gun, I got a knife and a fork. You got a bib on it. He's killed everyone. Don't worry, we know a guy. <laughs> the Martin. <laughs> I'm gonna have you some fun. I'm gonna have you some fun. <laughs> I thought this was actually the real look of the monster. I look like a superhero, and he was so... No, you look like a lobster out yeah. there. Yeah, like a crustacean. Yeah. yeah. Angry about it. I'm like, Jean-Claude, did no one tell you? So he didn't realize that he was just kind of a stuntman, right? So he thought he's going to be, look at this. He thought he's going to be a backflip kicking lobster yeah. out there. <laughs> Which I don't blame. They said that that, that design for that suit, they scrapped anyway. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and the the, the, the suit was the, the suit was horrible to work in no matter what. So and even though it's reported that he was just whining about being out there, they the suit was not meant for what they wanted to do anyway, and they had to change it. Uh, you know the thing is, I like how he would how he would uh, uh, the predator how he would use uh, the voice to to lure people out sometimes, yeah. man. Mm -hmm. You know, um, trick him. Like he would, he would choose which voice to use and, and trick them. And and there's a point where he uses not only the voice to lure them out sometimes, but also what I thought was cool is that he has a cloaking mechanism, and it looks like at points is malfunctioning and is not. Yeah. He's actually giving them a peek, so like, hey, here I am, come get me. And then he causes them to like chase him in the forest because now they can finally see him. It's actually a pretty cool, clever moment in the script. Over here. Get a little peek. <laughs> I'm coming! This fool, everybody in the movies is kind of like, why did it take him so long to die? Yeah. <laughs> this crazy ass. Uh, well, he's trying to avenge his. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I also thought, because uh, here's the thing, it's not, the voices aren't really there to lure people out necessarily, because I thought that that was it at first. Uh, there's a moment in the movie. See, this is what I think is cool too, because they, you know, there, there's moments where they use it to fake you out, coming back to the soldiers, because there's moments where you hear the guys whispering to each other. Yes. Like Mac is whispering to Carl Weathers, uh, uh, Dylan. Dylan, yeah, and and you think because you saw the Predator recording voices at first, like, oh shit, he got him. You know that was his choice not to wear a shirt under there. Yeah, oh, just a vest. Showing yeah, off those yeah, guns. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they say he worked that every morning before the shoot. Yep. All, all of them did. It's the real me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like your ass anyway. Mm. Throughout the whole movie, Mac is always saving his ass or going like, you need to be quiet. He uh, sure or, is. Or like, man, you Hold that bitch. If you want to save her, hold on to her. Yep. Damn. And like they, they, they're always trying to trick the audience. This is what I mean. That like this is you saw stuff before. It was just all laid out there. There was nothing that they were trying to do that was actually very clever. You know, it was just balls to the wall action right here. When the, you know, in the in the first half, in the second half, they're actually doing things to trick the audience, lure the audience in themselves. So you get used to seeing like you know, the moment you think it's the predator talking, it's not him. It's actually the real person talking. Great tension. Yeah. And then there's an, and, and there and so at, you know then, then it gets to the moments where you know you see what the predator is really using it for. And the predator is not even using that voice. When he actually starts using it, he's not using it to to lure people out. Actually, that gone. Anytime. 
He's being an asshole. Yep. Yeah, yeah. He's using it just to mess with them, man. Yeah, he's he's vindictive and sassy. And he's and he's has just a big ego as all the rest of these guys. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> like even yeah. that one scene you showed earlier when he when it's uh, when it's Bill Duke, he looks at him, he flashes his eyes like, Yeah, I did that. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, cool, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> Dig my invisible suit. <laughs> Wish you had one, don't you? <laughs> yeah, man. It's uh, I thought that was real cool, man. Yeah. Uh, first, they show how, how you they they tricked you. They made you think he was using it to kill them. No, he's using it. Just yeah, them. show off. Yeah, this he's petty. Yep. <laughs> yeah, little punk ass. Yeah, to taunt them is what he's doing. It. Yeah. You know, big get, game he, hunter. He's just doing it, you know, to get into their heads. Yep. Like a boxer would before he gets in the ring. It worked. It did. <laughs> yeah, it worked. Yeah, Hell yeah, it did. <laughs> got his ass confused. You know, and that's the thing about this, man. The movie, it makes you wonder, how are they going to... He has so many tricks now. He gets in their head so much. He's obviously very powerful using technology that these guys, are, you know, they, they, they're they not even close to going up against. So the movie does a good job of making you wonder, how are they going to defeat this guy, man? You know, now, I will say this. I will say this. Uh, talking about how to defeat them, because I said this. The predator, he likes to do things fair. He has a, he has a code, a code of honor. And to quote you, Martin, bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> now I, I, I will say this: the he took some cheap shots. Yes, he yeah. took some cheap ass shots yeah. in this movie, yeah. man. Yes, he does. A couple. <laughs> now listen, I can understand one of them. He took out Shane Black because he just got tired of hearing his those shit. jokes. He just yeah. got tired of those Pussy jokes. jokes. It's yeah. like, all right. He's like, this is enough. Ain't no, but he shouldn't be here anyway. Honestly, when you look at that entire team and somebody said, one of these people has to go. Shane Black. Yep. Yes. Like, like he, he didn't let me finish. Yeah, he know. He's he got to go. He never should have been there. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't know what his skill was. <laughs> I don't know. But he had to go. Like, the Predator just got tired of hearing Pussy Jokes. Mm. Well, you first to go. He's like, I'm going to do everybody a favor. <laughs> I, I can't have the puns and the pussy jokes. One has to yeah. go. <laughs> uh, you know, so I understand him having to go, but, man, Blaine, Jesse Ventura, that, 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 I got a, I got a problem with that one. <laughs> uh, ain't cool shooting a man when his back is turned. Yeah, well, he he didn't know he was gonna spin around. Yeah, because he shot him on the side, and even Blaine's like, "What the f just hit yeah. me?" He's in shock, and then he's like, "Oh, oh!" <laughs> then Damn, give him a chance to turn around and point the gun or but, something, but man. Plus, he's walking around with a chain gun. I I, I get that. that. That that you know, you're gonna take okay, out. Okay, everybody guy. gonna defend the predator now. Okay, I hit. Well, no, no, but when he kills, <laughs> when, when, when he kills Pancho, I was like, okay, that's some bullshit. Okay, that was yeah. bullshit. No, Pancho. Yeah. Okay, we can agree on that. <laughs> yeah, Pancho, yeah. some bullshit. You don't take a wounded man down. Yeah. <laughs> He was no threat. He wasn't yep. carrying a weapon. But at the same time, he's like, he ain't got no personality anyway. So <laughs> he, he spoke Spanish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no one speaks Spanish anymore. Well, you, know what, you know what? Okay, here's the thing about Poncho. Because I was like, you know what? I really dig Poncho because all these other guys are doing a lot of posturing. And Poncho's not doing that. Well, you know what the Predator said? <laughs> Speak English, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Speak English while you're in Guatemala. <laughs> now that was the cheapest shot. Yes, and the movie didn't even do Poncho right. And I'll tell you why. They killed his ass with a cartoon. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's a, he got killed by the worst effect in Dang, the movie. Yeah. right. Yeah, that's one of the data, uh, dated effects. That's what, that is one of the most dated ones. Like, he got killed by Tron or something. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's Disney animation right there. Straight, straight up is. Straight up is. Like Fantasia. Like something yeah. out of the Black Cauldron. Yeah, that's yeah, some, yeah, you're that's right. That's some shit when a, when, a, when a prince is cast a spell or some <laughs> <Yeah>. shit. <laughs> Lightning bolt. Yeah. Lightning bolt. <laughs> yeah. You know, the thing is, is that, yeah, that's not honorable right there. Not at all. Yeah. But... At this moment, it's not even about how they're killing people. It's just like the movie's at the point where, okay, we just got to get rid of some people. Right, exactly. You know, we, yeah. we got about, it's like, look, yeah. the whole point of this is to make it between Schwarzenegger yep. and the creature. Yes. So everybody's got to go. Yeah, yeah, at some point. We ain't got time to be honorable right now. Take <laughs> care. Uh, yeah. Well, maybe I could come back at the yeah. end and help save the no. Yeah. Mm. And, and I know this ain't honorable yeah. to kill Pancho, but. <laughs> He wasn't doing shit anyway. <laughs> yeah, he was just, I did y'all a favor. He's just a burden on everybody <laughs> having to carry his ass the whole movie. You're welcome. I gave y'all a fighting chance. <laughs> Killed him with the power of animation. <laughs> I tell you what, though, Bill Duke, man, he became my, my favorite, he's, man. He's, he's great. He's giving it his all. Yeah, Mac. Mac, yeah. Bill Duke became my favorite because he, he we talked about this. He must have been in love with Blade. Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, they had oh, to be. Because yeah. <laughs> after, after, after Blaine died, Blaine was my he hero. Loses, he loses. He lost his goddamn mind. He's He started talking to the moon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. You and me, man. Yeah, you and that time. <laughs> he started talking to the moon, doing monologues. Here we are again, bro. Just you and me. He's jacking off right now. <laughs> yeah. Like, sweat. Sweating. My God. Bro, you remember the time? Same kind of moon, same kind of jungle. No boy to catch you. You love me down real good, didn't I? People are like, who are you talking to? What the hell is going on with you? There needs to be another one of those moments where he was doing something and Carl Weathers was just staring at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That moment when he's dry shaving and breaks off the razor and Carl Weathers looking at him like, you stupid. What you doing? Yeah. He's going to lose it. This whole thing up. Thinking about my true love. That's what I'm doing. Mind your goddamn business. My bro. All right, leave me alone. You mind yours or my mind's. Just you and me. What for art thou, Blaine, a.k.a. Jesse? <laughs> <laughs> My favorite when he just loses his shit and starts singing, Little Richard. <laughs> She's Bill Sweet. She got everything. The fuck that you need. Oh, He's trying to take all this shit off. I like that anyway. <laughs> yeah, that, that would have been hilarious. He just stripped naked and ran around. <laughs> <laughs> Long tall Sally, <laughs> gonna meet you down the alley. Parents hey. like, I want none to do this now. <laughs> I'm gonna let him go. Yeah. Run, run for him, dude. Run for You're the one that got away. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have me some fun. I'm gonna have me some fun. Oh, man. <laughs> I wish they said that ten more times. I know. Like they, they could we'll cut it to the next scene. I want him to do the. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah. I wish they would. <laughs> I wish they had crossed over to another scene completely. You still hear this? I'm having some fun. I'm having some fun. I'm having some fun. Like, what the hell was that? What <laughs> was wrong with it? I recorded it anyway. <laughs> it's on loop. Try to explain that loop. Have me some fun. Have me some fun. <laughs> That's when the predator finally said, "Man, it's not even. Yeah, yeah. This, this is not even sporting. This is a mercy killer." Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah your, your crazy ass yeah, got to yeah. go. <laughs> Ooh, Shit, I did damn. you a favor. Your boy's laughing at you. <laughs> Shit, you're welcome. <laughs> I, love, I remember that scene too. Just That's all over. Yeah. It, it is. The practical effects. But it makes it look like his like he exploded his whole head. That it does. It but, does. Which they uh, we saw he yeah, didn't. Yeah, he didn't. Yeah. I guess it shoots the back. Yeah. It's that predator technology, man. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I guess so. Man, he, he, he do whatever he wants to do. Yeah. <laughs> it's oh, his man. world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have me some fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <I love it. laughs> Right now, the predators are saying that now. Yeah, <laughs> of course, we talked about this already, but the best death was uh, was was Dylan, man, Carl Weathers. Oh yeah, sure. Sure. He's, his death was the most badass, man. They shot his arm off, and he kept going. Yeah. Like he's not even yelling in pain. He's yelling because his arm is still shooting. Right. Right. I still got you, Carl. I still got you. I got you back. <laughs> Yeah. Like, like, just, just prop me up. Hold, yeah. hold, hold me up. Get it. Like I said earlier, I thought that arm was just going to start running off by itself. Still shooting that gun. I'm going to get vengeance for you. Now that should have been the sting of that arm just going yes. through the jungle by itself. <laughs> <laughs> but besides Arnold, man, it was the it was the most sporting death. Because, you know, because he's, man, he's fighting a, a, a man so badass that his severed arm is still shooting at you for one. Yeah. But having his arm shot off, that didn't stop him. Like he just said, I'll just use my other arm. Yeah. I got another one, thankfully. Like, <laughs> like the pain didn't even get to him. He just stopped yelling. He was like, shit, I got another arm. I can yeah, use that. Always, like, oh, yeah, I forgot. In action movies, nobody experiences shock. That's no, right. not at all. <laughs> oh, shit, that's the same arm. Yeah. Let's switch to the other yeah, arm. Yeah, other arm. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Didn't matter, though. <laughs> the most badass death of the most badass person that was killed, the person that went out the biggest like a bitch was Billy. Sadly. And yeah, they didn't show, show it. it. Yeah. Well, the funny thing is, is that Billy, he put on this big show cutting himself. Oh. 
mean mugging the predator, drawing blood on himself just I, so look how badass I'm. I'll cut yeah. myself before you cut me. I can't believe there's any Native American ritual that tells you to cut yourself up <laughs> right before fighting an enemy that you can't beat. Yeah, well, probably even Native Americans are like, why are you doing that? Yeah. <laughs> he's cutting himself, drawing his own blood. We knew he was going to die, but I was like, you know, but he's going to give the predator a run for his money. He's going to put up a good fight. Yeah. No. <laughs> you know, like the predator must have tore his asshole yeah, out. Yeah. Uh, we <laughs> see him actually do that. Yeah. <laughs> well, the funny thing is, the predator probably even touched it. <laughs> predator probably was about to do something like, ah! <laughs> Shit, boy, we know Billy probably fell on his own knife. <laughs> He's trying to run. He was there, he was over a log, probably yeah. fell off. Oh, shh. Oh, was was like, I ain't even, I ain't even touch you. <laughs> That's funny because he, he screamed like the guy in Jurassic Park. <laughs> he did, yeah. He sure did. Ah! <laughs> Maybe that dude's with him. <laughs> During the second half, man. It's also where we start to get some of the most quotable lines, too. Oh, I mean, yeah. the puns were there, but, you know, everybody knows this one. Get to the chopper! <laughs> She's like, okay, shit. Yeah. She's taking her time. Yeah, uh, <laughs> You know, that is why it's so cool seeing all these guys getting taken out one by one. You know, again, the toughest of the toughest, yep. except yep. unless you're Billy. But, <laughs> 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 but uh, you know, that's why it was so cool, like, when you... Because you were wondering. I mean, I remember I remember distinctly watching this movie, and we knew Arnold was going to win, but we just kind of like, how? Sure, sure. Yeah, that's why it was so cool. Because, listen, I was a teenager watching this. So I thought this was... I, th I thought, man, that's an amazing idea when Arnold was covered in mud mm -hmm. and the Predator couldn't see him because, you know, his, his, his vision is heat-sensitive. <laughs> How come he couldn't hit that yeah, little thing right yeah, there? He doesn't have the best day. Yeah, or even when he when he uh, he did he shot Arnold at one point, but his arm didn't come off. No, no, well, yeah, yeah. I think he's hit him in the shoulder. Plus, I was like, grazed him. Yeah, you can cover yourself in mud, but it ain't gonna lower your temperature enough that no. it won't show up on a thermograph. No, but you know what? When, <laughs> yeah. when you I like, watch, I mean, at the time when I saw it in the theater, I was like, this is some bullshit <laughs> right here. Watch it today, I'm like, I ah, let it go. Well, maybe alien technology couldn't pick it up. I don't know. <laughs> That's when uh, we realized for the first time, Arnold has the upper hand. Yeah. Dutch has the upper hand, and then he starts doing his Home Alone montage. Yes. Doing it. This is what I thought. This was cool because while the yeah. while the predator is celebrating, making his trophy, mm -hmm. smelling himself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, feeling himself. Yeah. You know, Arnold. Arnold's the he's the he's the uh, the, the wise ant. <laughs> the predator is the grasshopper. <laughs> that don't make any sense at all. By the way. He's a bump, man. He's a little bump. Tying around his like, just a little, just a little taste before I fight. Yeah, get me through. Take the edge off. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Salt and pepper shakers, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Look at me. Look at my work I did. Wait till I show up to the awards. Dinner. Yeah. <laughs> just need one more. I thought that was a kind of cool contrast. Showing like uh, the edit, you know, it's almost like that. The predator's got his guard down because he is so full of himself. He's overconfident. Right? Yeah, at this point, yeah, exactly. And um, and again, it goes back to why the predator is so cool, man, because they keep revealing more and more. You know, you see more fighting styles, you see more technology, but you know, the thing is, everybody wants to see more of the creature too, man. Uh, you know, because we remember when Arnold uh, gave him the slip. Uh, later on in the movie, uh, when you know, because they had that moment <clears throat> where Arnold was getting them, man, had to had the edge on them. He's like, oh shit! See, <laughs> all the mud is gone oh, now. Man. Fall in that water, all the mud is gone, and at this point. Arnold was giving him the slip, but the predator's like, uh-huh, I see your ass now. And at that moment, he's like, you know what, I'm tired of this Home Alone shit. You know, let's, and you think you're so badass. You know, and that's where, when you saw him looking at his trophies and everything, it's the predator's hubris that got to him, man. Yeah, yeah. He was just kind of like, you know what, 
Let's just go at it. Let's get yeah. these hands yeah, right you, you think I need all this? Yeah. I don't need no yeah. this. This doesn't define me. <laughs> like, he actually had him. Could have shot he, him. He could have yeah. killed him right could've there. Could have killed him right there. But it's like, no, 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 man. You think you so smart. Let's do this shit hand to hand right here. And you got to see, finally, the face of the predator. And I remember people in, like... Shit, that's amazing, man, because people ain't never seen anything with a spider mouth before. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it had mandibles. Mm-hmm. And people, I remember people thinking, like, because we didn't know what the Predator looked like. Sure, true. It was yeah. one of those things where, like, you didn't know what E.T. looked like, you know what the Gremlins looked like. They did a great job of hiding what the Predator looked like. And I think a lot of people expected, like, a human face under sure, there or something sure. like it's that. A, it's a really great design. And everything is articulated. Yes. And, and yep. wet and alive looking. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. That design was actually recommended by James Cameron. I love the eyes too. Yeah, yeah. I want to give a shout out to uh, Kevin Peter Hall, who is the man in the suit. who's like mm. the seven foot two yeah. guy. Yeah, Harry and the Henderson. Yeah, he was, yeah. He was, he was just coming off of that film, and they was like, "We want you to be in this mm-hmm. movie." And uh, he went on to do uh, Predator Two as well. But um, but no, he, he did a great job. Just the movements of the creature yeah. too. And they wanted someone to make. I think uh, as uh, John McTiernan said, to make Arnold Schwarzenegger look like a peanut. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. And it worked. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I just love that. He's like, Shh, "All right, now you can see my face." Like, nah, put that back on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. Mm. One ugly mother. Did you say? <laughs> <laughs> of course, Arnold beats him, man. You don't have to go through the whole fight or anything like that. You know how the movie ends, and Arnold beats him just through, you know, ingenuity instead of. Because that's a funny thing about the film. It starts out where the creature is using all this science and technology and hunting skills to capture these people. These people are just out there, just you know, fighting raw. At the end of the movie. It turns around from this lunkhead movie at the beginning to where Arnold is actually using ingenuity now, mm. and the Predator is just being stupid at this point, just trying to go in raw for his own ego. And that's when Arnold gets him, man. He just doesn't see it coming. Do it. Now, there's a question to be had here, and I'm going to get into all these in a little bit. It'll, be, it'll make for sure. a good discussion, sure. but because Arnold, you know, he does not kill the creature. It's like, it's, you're already down. Arnold is actually being more sporting <laughs> than, the, yeah. than the Predator was mm-hmm. at one point, and there's a reason why. Now, do you, you know, there's a moment here where the, the Predator is looking at him, and he's using that speech again that he recorded, and he said, this time he's taking it straight from, uh, from Arnold. What the hell are you? Does he understand? Or do you think, like, do you think he's just repeating it, thinking that Arnold will understand what he's saying, even though the Predator doesn't? Or do you think he's actually understanding and asking him the same question, like, who are you to beat me? Yeah, what? The, who are you? What the hell are you? I think that's what's great about that scene because you can interpret it that way. Yeah. You know, where, as you said, like this predator comes in feeling itself and, and, and believing that, like, I'm superior to everything on here. But, yeah, I'll give myself some, some of a challenge. But he's beat. And then to have, like, this this other species, this lesser thing to question him, he's like, you? Who are you? That's how yeah. I read it. Just kind of you throwing know? it back at him. Yeah, he doesn't yeah, understand yeah. at all. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then he's and then he's sassy <laughs> yeah. at the very end. <laughs> it's a piece of shit. So unsportsmanlike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he, he lost, and he's like, "Well, uh, I'll destroy everything." <laughs> well, here's something again about whether he's sportsman or like uh, sports, sports. Whether he has good sportsmanship or not, or, he, or whether he's being sporting or not. Uh, everybody has their interpretation of that laugh. Oh yeah. At the end, you know, he took Billy's laugh and used it against Schwarzenegger at the end of the movie. Or did he? <laughs> you know, there are some people who say that the Predator was taking one last cheap shot at him. That's how I always read it. You know, there's, a, there's another that says that he actually was kind of laughing because he knew he got beat, and he timed it to where he gave Schwarzenegger... Hmm. An actual, uh, you know, he gave him time to run because he beat him. He said the only reason why he set off the the, the detonator is because predators are supposed to die honorably. Yeah. And a, an honorable death is being killed. Yes, that's and, true. And Arnold wouldn't kill him. Yep. So he says, all right, I got to, you know, now I got to kill myself. Mm-hmm. 
And he's like, you know, I'm laughing at you because you think you've kind of won, but you know, I'm, but I'm gonna give you a head start because you did, you did beat me. Mm-hmm. Also, you know, there's a theory that he's blew himself up to cover the alien technology, too. I would think that, to cover up that. Yeah. W- one, just just being a bitch about it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Sort of loser. <laughs> yeah, sort of loser. And, and to cover up, yeah, uh, uh, any trace of the technology. I, I, he, he, as much as he may have gone, all right, you beat me, uh, I don't think he was trying to give Schwarzenegger a chance to get away. Because cause there's no way for Schwarzenegger to even know for sure what he was doing with yeah. that. Again, open for interpretation, which no, I thought great was great for discussion. Yeah, which I yeah. thought was very cool. I'm also not. Oh, I tell you, one of the things that I'm not crazy about over the years is uh, is the the alien blood. Green which that is, the Mountain Dew. Yeah, <laughs> the, that <laughs> antifreeze that's coming. Yeah, it's yeah. coming out. But it's too bad because it gave you know it. The, the topic of the blood is one of the most memorable lines and quotable lines in the movie. If it bleeds, we can kill it. That's uh, the tagline for the movie. Yeah. yeah. It's also funny, though, because this chick sees alien blood. And she decides to touch it. You don't know what the hell that is. Right. It. Yeah, stupid ass. Her clothes. Yeah. It would have been good if she touched it and went, ah. Oh, <laughs> hands, hands, hands start melting off. Yeah. <laughs> Mutating. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the, the, I, don't, I don't know how I feel about the blood today. You know? It's just, I mean, I, I don't mind. Well, the, the way you did in the trivia, the original blood was orange. Oh, and yeah. it didn't look very good, and mm. so they changed it. You know, yeah, like, they, it it's glow sticks actually. Yeah. You were right. I, I mean, it's it's it, it's very alien. And yeah, it, it's unique. Yeah. It's not like ours, and so I don't mind it. I feel like it kind of stands out. Doesn't ruin the movie for me, anything like that at all. Yeah. It's it, I like the way the movie ends, and it just has a lot of things open for discussion. Yeah. You know, a lot of things that it can be interpreted so many different ways, uh, which is why I said, man, you know, when you really look at this, the movie's not as it's not as dumb as some people say it is. It's not, you know, don't take for face value that all this dumb stuff in here was done because people didn't know what they were doing or they can't write. And I'll tell you, the thing that really sells that to me the most, where they weren't taking any of this stuff seriously, is the ending credits, man. (laughs) 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 Okay, ain't nothing that damn funny, all right? (laughs) Oh, you thought I died. (laughs) Cheers. Turns out I got one arm missing. (laughs) (laughs) They throw him his arm. (laughs) 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 They should have said Carl Weathers and Carl Weathers' arm, and it's still on the ground. (laughs) 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 What are you doing? (laughs) (laughs) He's the only one that's serious. Wait, were you guys joking the whole time? They probably weren't joking with him. They all know. <laughs> he didn't know they were filming. They were doing a serious pose. <laughs> but that was like actors at the end of a play coming out and taking yes. a bow, yep. man. And, they, and I think they showed you that these guys, you know, they were laughing and winking at the camera just to show you that, hey, you know, these guys, they were, they, we went on the joke. These guys are all, they were having fun. Everybody wasn't serious with this at all. All right, I I didn't buy into that theory till just watching this right here because I, I didn't I didn't stay to the end credits, but seeing that right there uh, makes me go like, all right, maybe you are onto something. It's just a long way of what we did today. This long retro review that was just a long way of saying that this is why the Predator 1987 has much more lasting power. You know, it has much more longevity than some of the other. Predator movies out there. I, even though I like a number of the other Predator sequels, especially Predators, but that's why they don't measure up to this one because mm-hmm. that uniqueness isn't there. Yeah, it's also a. Um, it's easy to see watching this now that I have a new appreciation for it. It's easy to see why people keep trying to go back to the well because yeah. it's, yeah. it's, it's like a, it's such a good idea. Mm-hmm that you don't recognize that the unique circumstances that allowed them to pull this off and make it special. What if we have the creature try to steal all the autism on Earth and use that? <laughs> <laughs> Which you said, what, Which is, the that's predator. the predator. That's the, that's, the, that's the plot of the predator. That's what they want to do. You find out they don't hunt people. They, they literally hunt people so they can get their spinal fluid to then get the autism out and so oh. they can inject themselves the autism to become Super predators. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I, I I don't know what you're talking about right now. They don't that's know what they're the, talking that's about. That's the movie. <laughs> you're like, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay. <laughs> right. All right, y'all. That was uh, our retro review for Predator. That was fun. That was, good time. That was fun. Yeah, that was fun talking about that. 